Tom's Low Dinky Doo, Bill. Are you talking to me, Scotty? I might be talking to you. Well, yeah. Right. I think you're a good man, you, but you've got one problem, eh? Right, go on. You don't like anybody else's point of view. I've never heard that. Sorry? I've not know where you've got that from, Bill. I've heard you on the radio, mate. Yeah? Now, listen, mate, I've been in South Africa 25 years. Nothing wrong with I'm that. Not about no, I'm not talking about politics, race, anything. No, nothing wrong with that. a guy in the other week about drinking and... I think he was an MP from Liverpool or whatever. Yeah. And as soon as he wanted to give his point of view, you wanted to put the phone down on him. And now, in South Africa... Now, I think you've got that wrong, actually, Bill, right? Can I, I mean, finish first, no, please? Well, wait a minute. There's no way I would ever put the phone down because somebody started the point of view. So you're, you've overplayed your hand a little bit there. You're right, then. All right. You're well, a bit well, excited. I mean, I take, I take hundreds of opinions you did every it. Now, night. Can I finish? Well, wait in a minute. I'm just explaining to you. No, no, you're yeah. not. You see. No, I am. You see. I mean, if, if you've if you've got the right to no, talk, so have talk, I. If you can put the phone down. If you've got the right to talk, so have I. Yeah, but I'm not going to put the phone down if you're keeping a civil tongue in your gob. I've got. You know what? In my mouth. Your gob. What's that? Your gob is your mouth. Carry on. No, that's all I'm saying. Right. I'm waiting for you to speak. But you keep no. leaving long pauses. No, no, no. Listen, in South Africa, he's... Right, very good. Not because of his... Whatever, but he was a guy from uh, South Africa, Mozambique, and everything else on the I'm radio. Sure, I'm sure that was worth a listen. And he used to speak to people, and if anybody came on the radio and said anything wrong, he used to put the phone down and say, well, whatever. Well, that's him, that's not me. Right, okay. So you mustn't confuse us. We're different people, obviously. Well, I know you're not, because he was uh, Mozambican and you're uh, you're uh, Englishman. Oh, so, sorry, a Scotchman. Well, nothing gets past you, does it? I'm worldly travel, mate. Well, it's, you know, it's not coming across, but I'll accept it. Sorry? It's not coming across, but I'll accept that. What do you mean, not coming across? Well, it's not coming across that you're widely travelled. You're not well, coming across as a particularly intelligent man. Is that right? Well, I don't think you are, actually. Well, I should be. Why is that? Eh? What's your history? What do you mean, what's my history in what respect? Well, you're born in Scotland. I may have been. I mean, that's nothing to do with it. Listen, I've been overseas 25 years, just come back. I've yep. listened to you on the radio. Yep. I've listened to you for... You talk a lot of good sense, actually. We do our best. I know, yeah, and you talk to a few... Oh, is this live on the radio? Is it being? No, you uh, mustn't swear. No, it's not been anything. It's live on the radio. Well, you talked to a few uh, whatever. Yeah. And uh, I think you talk a lot of good things, but you talk about a lot of immigrants and things like that, mm -hmm. which <sighs> a lot of people come over here and they get the dole and they get this and they get that and whatever. And uh, well, you went over to South Africa. And I worked. I grafted, mate. Yes. Exactly, and I worked for my money, I didn't get nothing. But you were allowed to. I mean, these people aren't allowed to work. Who aren't? These immigrants that you're talking about. The Where? asylum seekers. Where? They're not allowed to work when they initially come over. Where? And you talk about UK? Well, where do you think I'm talking about? The Antarctic? I'm asking you. Hey? I'm asking you where? But I don't where know. You? You're not blessed, are you? See, you're doing it now, you see. Doing, doing what? It. You're trying to put me off the subject. I'm not trying to put you off Where the subject you at all. About people that are not allowed to work. Yes, but that's in not what UK. you came on to discuss. In the UK, you talking about UK? Yeah. No. Well, where do you think I'm talking about? You're asking me the question again. Mm. Where do you well, think I'm phone, talking about? Don't, don't put the phone down on me. I'm not going to put the phone oh, down no, on you. I want to put the phone down on idiots. Yeah, well, you're not talking to a bloody idiot. Eh? Hey. I was in Africa 25 years. Yeah, you've said that three, South four, Africa, four times. Zambique. Four times you've said that now. Have I? And four times you said the opposite. I mean, what do you think interests the nation about that? Sorry? What do you think interests the nation about that? Why are you telling us that? What are you doing on my programme? I'm trying to talk to a sensible person, hopefully. Right. Right. Well, come on then. Right. Now, the other week, you were talking about immigrants coming in here and they're entitled to come in here and live off us. Is that right or what? That sounds like it. What's you, about... You, no, you, you'll you know. You'll know. You're obviously the bright spark. I'm not an electrician, mate. 
Come on, then. I'm not an electrician. I'm a tradesman, a plumber, roofing, heating engineer. Whatever. All these things, whatever's going, yep. Yeah. Are you a tradesman? A Johnny all things, I might be. Oh, you might be. I might be. So, you agree with the, all these people from Kosovo and whatever coming over Well, here. what are you going to do? Let them starve to death? Well, I would, yeah. Would you? Right. Well, like, you're not uh, the kind of person I want to know, then. I'm not the type. I mean, what if somebody let you starve to death? I would never starve to death. Well, Scott, you might well I starve to death. No, no I'm, I'm sorry. No, that doesn't matter. If you were in an oppressive country... You know, I mean, why did you leave South Africa? Because you had to get out. No, I had personal problems. Right. I lost my son. Right. Personal problems. All right, are we off, on the air or off? Listen, I'm getting fed up with this. Of course we're on the air. It's a right, phone-in right, so programme. Well, I phoned in before, and some of it's uh, laid back for two or three minutes, and then it's broadcasted. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like you, you've probably worked all your life, earned good, you know, earned money and done whatever and whatever. But the thing is, England is a soft touch for everybody. Am I cut off or what? Of course not. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Hello? I wish you'd say something sensible. I'm... Have you been you drinking? Mean, what do you mean? Have no, you... I've not been drinking. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a teetotaler. Well, you're coming across as if you're gassed out of your box. Are you on something? I'm on the phone to you, mate. You're on the phone, right. Right, so let's talk sense. Well, I'm waiting. Yeah, so England's a soft touch, eh? So you tell me. You take all the people in from all over the world who've all got problems. Why don't their own country look after them? Well, they don't want them. Their own countries are in a political shambles. Yeah, I mean, look at you, look you, at Mozambique. You, well, you go, you go and actually say, go on. I mean, Mozambique's just come out of what is that, a sixteen-year war? You go and tell them then to look after all the years. people. How old yeah. are you? Eh? It's a twenty-six war. Twenty-six. Nineteen seventy-six. You started, eh? Right. Portuguese. Okay. Where did Portuguese go to? Well, all right. No Back need to, to be, Portugal. There's no need to be cheeky. Where did, no, I'm not being cheeky. I'm just telling you the truth. How old are you, Scotty? That's none of your business. Oh, I'm 52, eh? Right. I went to South Africa in 76. Right. Portuguese pulled out of Angola. Right. Portuguese pulled out of Mozambique, same year, 76. What's this got to do with and the what? price of fish? Oh, no, you see, you're arguing again. I'm not what arguing. I haven't even started yet. Right, I'm well, trying you to, I'm you trying got to... Good, you've got a good argument here, mate. You know, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to see where you're coming from. School of... Uni uh, uh, University of Life, mate. I think you've had too much to drink. I haven't had too much to I, drink. I can talk I, to you till no, I two think, hours. I think you want to come on here when you're a bit more sober and you can talk sense. No, you see, you're doing it. I'm doing it. You don't want to yeah. talk to people who can argue with you. Yeah, you can't argue with me. You I can bloody argue you, with no, you. Till can, the, no, you till can No, you can Till the sun comes you, down, you eh? You couldn't argue with your way out of a wet bag. That's how you were last week with the uh, MP from Liverpool. Yeah, the MP... Anybody that gives you the crossword, you want to put the phone down. Nothing to do with crossword. Right, it's to do with people up, who are a waste of space. No, you're a waste of space. You're listen a, to me for a minute. You're a waste of space. You've Don't got nothing to, to say. What? You've got nothing interesting to say. You've got no experience of life. I've got more than you, mate. Well, we haven't heard 25 anything. years in Africa. Yeah, that's the sixth time now you've told us. Six times. I'll mark it. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 26 years in Africa. Great. Right. All right. If, well, what, sort of, what sort you of experience? Question, then. What you sort of experience is that? You asked me a question then. Right. I'll answer you straight. What tribe was Jomo Kenyatta? Jomo Kenyatta? Yeah. Maasai. Right. Kenya. 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 Yeah. Yes. What, All right. Well, what, what, me another one. What three countries made up British East Africa? Uh, Kenya, Tanganyika, and I think uh, either Rhodesia or Zambia. Rubbish. How's that? Rubbish. Not even close. What do you mean? Not? British East Africa? Uganda. All right, one wrong. One wrong. Kenya, Tanganyika. Right. Right. Do you tell me? Who was General Smuts? President of South Africa. When? About 1920s. Right. Now, you tell me. 
Who was the president of South Africa, 1960s? Why are you asking that? Well, I'm challenging you. Well, you tell me then. John Borster. Right. Correct. Correct, yeah. Right, okay, carry on. You're all right, you've got that one. <laughs> I think you're a good bloke, you, but I think you've got your uh, legs tied. My legs tied? I think you've got your eyes crossed. Not way, no ways, mate, I don't wear glasses. <laughs> No, look, at seriously, I lived there 25 years. And right, I know you, you've that seven times. Seven times you've told us that. Is that right? seven? I'm 28 now. Right. I think we'll, I think we'll leave it at that now, because that's eight times we've heard that you've lived 25 years in Africa. You've been yeah, on 10 I'm minutes, Scotty, and you've I'm said be nothing. I'm beating you on the phone. That's why you're, you're not beating me down. at all. I'm you haven't even started. Scotty. You're giving me nothing. You're giving me nothing to discuss. I cannot have a battle of wits if my opponent is unarmed. I'm I'm armed. I've got an AK-47 here, mate. No, it's nothing to do with that. It's to do with your ability. No, you've got no ability. You've got no ability and you've you got... You wound that guy you, down. You've got no me. manners. Have I swore? You I've see, what, what, I mean, I've, I've put you on the rope several times and you haven't come back. You know what? You're a disgrace. There's a man that called you a... Tossed the other week. Well, he'd no, you are, well, no right to... I thought well, you'd say you that because that's you the can... level you're at, you see. You can phone me back. No, no, no. That's the level you're at, you see. No, it's your level. You calling can't, people you tossers can't. on here, you've no right to. You can't that's a very cheeky any opposition, thing you. Now, there's no opposition. You do, You haven't provided any opposition. I'm giving it you now over the phone, mate. No, you're not. You're, uh, you haven't I'll provided be... any opposition. Listen. You've, all you've done is put the nation to sleep. Is that right? I think you're probably to sleep every day of the week. You've put the nation to sleep. You're a waste of time and space. Well, I, I beg your pardon, but... It's I think all you right. Are. You can beg your pardon as much you as possible. The truth hurts. 